Hello, hello, hello. It looks like we are live and in living color. Hello, my name is Alston Godbolt, and I create content to help you start generating passive income with affiliate marketing. Today is going to be a great day. I want to show you how you can start making $100 per day or more with TikTok. Now, if you're brand new to my channel, as I mentioned, I create content to help you start generating passive income in just one hour per day with affiliate marketing. Be sure to subscribe to my channel if that's something that you're interested in. Also, if you want to know how I start generating passive income every single day, click the first link in the description or go to alstongodbolt.com forward slash start. Um, if you have questions, I'm checking my live chat, throw them in there. It's off to my right. So if you can see me continuously looking off to my right, it's because I'm looking at my live chat. All right. So a few months ago, I did a video, how to promote ClickBank products on TikTok. And if you don't know, TikTok is the newest, latest, greatest social media media platform. It's kind of like a mix between Twitter and YouTube. The reason why I think it's a mix between the two is simply because it combines both audio and video, but it's short clips. So what you're doing is you're, you're creating 15 second or minute click, clips about a topic or an idea very much like YouTube when it first got started very much like tick, uh, very much like Twitter when it first got started so in its infancy it's basically it's it, that's basically what it is it's kind of like a mix between YouTube and Twitter now there are some changes since that video that I created months ago and I want to go over those changes I want to kind of run through how you can start making money I actually want to show you a few examples of what I've done if you're looking at this, this is, I'm using a software called Bluestacks. Bluestacks is basically a Android emulator for a Mac. That's how I'm able to show this to you on the screen. Otherwise, I'd have to connect my screen to the, uh, otherwise I'd have to connect my phone to the screen and so it'd be much smaller. But TikTok is a great opportunity because it's very undersaturated. It's very possible for your, your videos, your clips to get, replayed hundreds if not thousands if not hundreds of thousands of times just on a whim and it kind of happens literally overnight it, people from around the world can access your videos and your video clips and it's very easy to start building an audience now the one thing that i do want to let you know that you don't need to have an, an a follower or a subscriber base to start making money it's very similar to youtube in that you can have one subscriber and make a thousand dollars a month, or you could have a thousand subscribers and make one dollar a month. I think the misconception when it comes to YouTube and TikTok and really it's all social media networks in general is you don't need to have actual subscribers. You just need to have people that are engaged in your video. So let me show you real quick what I've done. And again, I'm using a software called Bluestacks. Most of the time I create content on my phone and I just upload it. So what I do every morning when I get up, I create a bunch of content. I create maybe um, I create maybe four or six video clips and I save them. And the reason why I do that is I, I, it's really the best time for me because I can release those video clips throughout the duration of the day. And you can actually take a look at some of the analytics. You can figure out when your customers or when your, your clients are online, you can go live. There's just a number of different things that you can do. And one big change that has happened recently, both for me and, and with TikTok in general, you can actually make even more money. So let me show you a few examples of some of the things that I've done. Now, one thing that you'll notice with me and with TikTok is I like to repurpose all of my content. As you can see, I just need to scroll down here a little bit. I like to repurpose everything that I that I create. So I'll create one piece of content, maybe a YouTube video, and then I'll repurpose it 10 or 15 times in, in 10 or 15 different platforms so I'm not having to recreate the wheel. Now, it does not look like... Hmm. Uh, let's see, here we go. Um, I was concerned that I'd run into this issue because this phone emulator is consuming bandwidth and I'm on live. So uh, this is what my profile looks like. And in the very bottom left, you can actually see the number of views that each video got. Uh, one of the new things that I want to show you that's actually right on this page is you have the ability to now link a website. In the past, I would say maybe six months ago, you couldn't put a link, you couldn't put a link to a website. Now, once you get 1000 followers or subscribers, whatever you want to call them, you can link your website. But again, 
this doesn't even really matter either because you can either link your YouTube channel, your Instagram account, or both. There's, a, there's just a number of different ways that you can start building a following and start getting traction. Unfortunately, it's not gonna let me scroll down to kind of show you exactly what I've got going on. But as you can see here, I'm getting probably hundreds of likes and follows per day just by uploading content. So I'm back here in my my account. I'm going to go to edit profile. I want to see if I can take a look here. Um, again, this part here, adding your website is brand new and you can only do it if you have 1000 followers or more. Um, that is really brand new to TikTok. But one thing that I want to show you is underneath the website, you can add your Instagram account. So if you have a following on Instagram, you can add that. And I actually, that's one of the ways that I repurpose my traffic and you can actually link people to YouTube. So you can tell people to go to my YouTube channel to learn more, or you can tell people to go to my Instagram account to learn more. And one of the things that I do, one of the things that I like to do is when I upload to TikTok, I actually will cross promote a video, the exact same video over to Instagram. So again, I'm repurposing my content so that I don't have to create tons and tons of content in order to start building a following. So I'm just gonna go back here and I'm gonna click these three dots at the top right hand corner. And these three dots will bring up a whole host of information that you can take a look at and analyze. Now, one thing that I wanna show you is actually the analytics. Now the analytics are important because it will tell you when your customers are online and viewing your content. If you know that, you could potentially create content or upload content at that time to get in front of your customers. So as you can see here with my content, hopefully you can see that. You can see I have had 16,000 video views in the last seven days. That is an incredible amount, seeing how I only have like 1,100 followers. In the last seven days, 16,000 views. So that's 16,000 opportunities to get in front of a potential customer. As you can see right now, I have 1,157 followers. I have 10 times the views, which is very good. So if we go over to content, I've had 21 posts in the last seven days. So I only post about three times per day. I don't post an incredible amount. I wish I could show you more for whatever reason it's not letting me scroll down here uh let's see maybe i can all right there we go perfect so this is a good example of TikTok. this video that i uploaded i uploaded this video earlier today it has 712 712 views that means someone or lots of people have viewed this video at least once if i look down here the video next to it has only 154 views but then the video right here which was uploaded i believe yesterday has 1.8 thousand views so that's 1.8 thousand opportunities and if i scroll down here i have a video it is basically talking about how you could make between 300 and 2500 dollars per day building websites that video it has i think maybe like 10,000 views i'll have to go back and i want to find that so i give you the correct information but that has an insane amount of views for my channel and so it feels kind of random when it comes to creating content on TikTok. As you can see, some views, some videos like this one got, only got 53 videos. This video up here has 712. It feels kind of random, but there are some tips and tricks that you can try to help improve your chances. So if we scroll down here, you can see there my, my audience is mostly male, mostly from the United States. And this is a very good piece of information right here. Um, my traffic is normally, my, my customers, my, my audience is normally online from six to seven, really from six to probably about 10 is when my followers are online. Also, it looks like they, they wake up at seven or 8 AM. They get on TikTok until about noon, and then they probably possibly go to lunch. You can use this information to create your content at that time. So if you're just getting started, I would post content. I would I would start off maybe with like three to six posts per day, and I would try and post them out, spread them out every few hours to get an idea of when your customers are online. And when they're online, that's when you wanna post because the people that follow you most likely are going to view your videos and the more views you get early on, it's it's very much like it's very much like YouTube in the way when 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 YouTube tags matter. So if if I were to try and form an analogy with TikTok, 
TikTok is YouTube in its early days when when tags mattered. So if you have the right tags, if you can figure out when your customers or when your audience is going to be online, you can actually grow like wildfire. So I just want to go back over. I want to see. Go back to overview. I'm going to go back and I want to see. I'm going to try and find that video that has a ton of views seemingly at random. So again, I'm using an emulator here. Oops, I didn't want to do that. But my method has been in the past, it won't let me scroll down, but my method has been fairly simple. What I do is I will actually take a thumbnail from a video that I've currently, or that I've recently created, a thumbnail for my YouTube video, and then I'll create a 15 second burst of information about that thumbnail, and then I'll add a call to action, like click the link in the description to learn more. Recently, I've been testing doing two types of videos. It's the exact same video. For example, uh, five, five ways to make $100 per day online. And then I'll do a listicle of five ways. So let me just click on this video here, and hopefully there's no audio. Five more reasons to start an online business today. And then I'll go through and I'll quickly give a list of five. Now what I'll actually do is I'll create two of these videos. One video where I'm talking and one video where I just have of, uh, audio in the background. This video is with me talking. And the reason why I do that is because I'm testing to see which one works better with my audience and which one works better with TikTok. If you can test and figure that out, you can kind of grow your, you can build your business much faster over a longer period of time. So I just want to show you, let's see, if I go to my, let's see here, I'm going to go to, I'm going to go to I can't, it won't let me go to, let me see if I can make this larger here. All right, so let me see here, let's do this. Unfortunately, it's not gonna let me scroll down. So what I would do if I were to create a brand new TikTok, and the other thing that you'll notice, this is just me shooting at the screen. I'm not even, I'm not in this camera at all. I'm not in this view. I'm shooting at my monitor and I'm just going through, I'm starting and stopping. I'll show you exactly what I do as best as I can with this method. So I just click the plus sign here at the, down at the bottom. You can't really see that too well. There we go, that's a little bit better. So I'll click this plus sign down at the bottom to create a video. The great thing with TikTok is you are you don't have to spend a lot of time with these videos. You can just quickly come up with an idea, shoot it, edit it, and, and you're done with it. So if I click the plus sign here, allow TikTok to take pictures, of course I'll allow that. Allow it to take audio, of course I'll allow that as well. I'll allow that as well. All right, so if I were to create a video and it's probably not going to work it's probably not gonna work because I'm using a webcam in front of my normal camera. But what I would do is I would just say, I would just hit this button here and hit the play button and say 10, 10 ways to start an online business today or five ways to start an online business today. I would list one and then stop, list one and then stop. And then I add a call to action to, and say something like, click the link in the description to learn more. As you can see, if I just run this here, this is this isn't a video, and this video is actually playing audio. I don't want to play the audio because I will get demonetized. I'll probably get a strike against me. But as you can see, this is a 15-second video, and I've added, I've given it a title, five more ways to make $100 per day online. And then at the bottom, click the link in the bio to learn more. This is basically it, and you can start getting traction. You can get access to people that you wouldn't normally have access to because the TikTok algorithm feels kind of random at times. But what I do is I just use a bunch of hashtags that are around the niche that I wanna create content on. And you can find relevant hashtags. If I go back here, you can find relevant hashtags if you just go discover and you just start typing in hashtags. Now what I do is I just do trial and error. One thing that has not worked for me which may work for other people, is using trending tags. Some people will tell you, some marketers will tell you to use trending tags, but that doesn't always work. What works better for me is if I niche down and instead of just creating a, instead of just using a, 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 a hashtag like make money online, I'll create, I'll use a hashtag like how to make money online 
for free or daily or how to make passive income daily affiliate marketing for beginners those seem to work better for me and again if you think about it and in reality all social media networks are basically the same if you don't have a large following you need to niche down you need to hashtag down i guess it would be in this instance in order to start gaining traffic we have a question hey everyone i'll be back to rewatch the entire thing hey thanks for stopping by um so again this social media is like old is like a blend between old school twitter and old school youtube old school youtube and old school twitter were heavily focused on hashtags and hashtags were incredibly important and it's kind of it's almost like the wild west out there where it feels seemingly random but that's true i just realized something sometimes usually yeah no it's it's weird um it's weird in that it feels random. It feel it feels weird that it seems like there's a delay between when you upload something and when it gains traction. So one thing that I do, as I mentioned, is instead of just typing in make money online, because that's going to be very popular, you could do make money online fast, make money online surveys, make money online time bucks. That's usually a better way to go because the longer the, the, the keyword, the longer the keyword phrase, the less people that are going to be creating content around it. And I kind of had to learn that the hard way when I first started and I was getting like five views and 10 views. But the funny thing is the videos are so short. What winds up happening is if someone watches one of your videos, they wind up watching like 10 of them. For example, here's this video that I uploaded a few months back. And in succession, this person, 102 people liked this video in, within an hour. It just, it, it, it seems like if, in, in my opinion, it feels like if one person likes the video, it automatically gets shot out to a whole group of people for them to view and watch it. But that's, that's basically what happens. If someone watches one of your videos on TikTok, they wound up watching at least five of them. And if they watch five of them, they'll probably like three of them because the way that it's set up is your video will come up in the For You page and the For You page is, is like a YouTube front page or YouTube homepage where it's based on things that you've searched and looked up before. And let's say you stum they stumble across your profile, they watch a video that you like, and then they swipe over to go to your profile. What they'll do is they'll go through and they'll watch maybe five or six of your videos and they may like three or four and then they follow you. They'll also check you out on YouTube. They'll also maybe check out your website. So you're building this, this, you're building this fan base, you're building this grouping just simply based off of a 15 second video, which could potentially lead to hundreds of dollars down the line. I was very skeptical when I got started with TikTok because I'm not dancing. I'm not a dancer. I, I'm not interested in, in dancing and singing and, and, you know, being that kind of person and no disrespect to anyone that does enjoy dancing, but that's just not my thing. And so when people were saying, Hey, I'm gaining a mass audience very quickly, it just didn't make any sense to me. And then I started doing it consistently and I, I really got really consistent when the video that I, I did, it was how to make 300 to $2,500 per day with web design. That video blew up. I wish I could show it to you. That video blew up and I said, hey, this, I, I better start doing this. All right. So we have some comments here, link in bio. Yep. That's what I, I put. I put link in bio, but you have to have 1000 subscribers or 1000 followers in order to get that link. If you don't have that link, you can still tell them to go to I have, I wish I could show you some of these older videos. I post in there, go to Alston Godbolt forward slash TikTok. I'll post that instead of where it says link in bio, I'll post, go to Alston Godbolt dot or Alston Godbolt dot com forward slash TikTok to learn more. And people will do it. I was actually very surprised that people, if they're interested in your content, they will actually close the app. They'll open up their web browser and they'll type in their, that, that web address that you, you forward them to. One trick that also helps me is I actually have a, a URL redirect. So I will tell people to go to alstongodbolt.com forward slash TikTok and it redirects to a landing page. So that's pretty cool. That actually, it, it gives it a little bit more credence and credibility. As you can see here, it says alstongodbolt.com forward slash TikTok. So people kind of like that. 
Yeah, the I wasn't able. So let me preference this by saying, I wasn't able to access. Uh, I wasn't able to add the link in bio until I had a thousand followers. But I have an Apple. I have an iPhone, and so from everything that I've read. It depends on if you have an Android phone or if you have an Apple phone. Since I have an uh, since I have an iPhone, it didn't it didn't appear until I got a thousand subscribers. It could have just been that my phone updated, but for me the correlation is I had a thousand followers or a thousand subscribers, and then it magically popped up. All right, so I've got another question here. Um, it wouldn't let me. You're right. Every range additional time. Uh, you need to. Yeah. So one thousand. You can use Bitly too. Uh, it doesn't really matter. It, the link is a is it's a, it's a live link. Once you get that link opportunity, it's a live link. I think I felt like for me though, if I say go to alstingodvolt.com forward slash TikTok, that's a little bit easier for people to digest and understand versus telling people to go to bit.ly forward slash two capital F lower J I one three four. You can use Bitly. You could use whatever you want. Uh, right now, there aren't any restrictions on the types of links that you can and cannot use. But for me, I liked having I like having my name branded everywhere. So where people think Alston Godbolt, they automatically connect me to TikTok or YouTube or whatever it may be. Uh, let's see. I heard a rapper say he charges five thousand to post links promoting stuff. Yeah, that's that's pro that's what's going to happen eventually. Now that influencers and people have the ability to so the so someone mentioned on the on the on the chat here that uh, people will actually charge or can charge to post their links here so if you were looking to make a little side hustle and let's say you are a well-known baker you could work with Betty Crocker and you could put Betty Crocker's link in the description for 24 hours charge them five thousand dollars and put Betty Crocker's link and you could even throw up a few different few different posts and say my favorite Betty Crocker cake is carrot cake or vanilla or whatever it may be so yeah there's just there's a number of different ways to monetize with TikTok and as TikTok grows I think there's going to be even more opportunities another way that you could actually monetize with TikTok is some people are using many links or link tree basically what many link or link trees are is it, it sends people to a web page where they have multiple links one right after another. So you could have a link to like an Amazon store. You could have a link to an ebook that you're promoting. You could have multiple links at one time and people kind of pick and choose. I feel, I personally don't like doing the, the mini link or the link tree way just because I feel like people are going to see all of these links and they're not going to know what to do. So they don't do anything. I send people to a landing page and then I can follow up with them and I can work with them directly. So that's a personal preference, but there's, there's just a number of different ways. Another way that you can make money with TikTok is that once you get a thousand subscribers, you can go live and going live is just like going live on YouTube. TikTok is YouTube basically. Um, and you can get paid, you can get paid basically coins, or I think it's called like Ethereum or Imperium or something. You can get paid with coins, just like you can get paid with super chats on YouTube if people, re if, if you resonate with your audience. So again, there's just maybe four or five different ways that you can get paid or you can make money with TikTok. And I, and I think that most people don't realize that just yet. So just to recap, you can put links here in the description you could actually work with a brand you could get sponsored you can go live and you can get sponsored you can send people to your instagram page your instagram page could have affiliate links your youtube page is your youtube channel so it can have affiliate links there but again so what i've started doing every morning when i wake up i try and come up with three or four different ideas to create content one will be me reading it off. The other one will have music playing in the background and I save them as a draft. And then throughout the day, I just release them. And once they go live, you can actually cross post between other social media networks. And I just cross post with Instagram. If you look at my Instagram account, it's basically all TikTok posts that have been repurposed. Uh, that swipe up is anything. Yeah, no, it's it's pretty cool. It's 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 cool because it's under undiscovered right now. It's it's under the radar, but I think as more people find out about it, it's going to become saturated, kind of like Facebook, and Facebook turned into an echo chamber. But 
If you are trying to explain TikTok to someone, tell them it is YouTube mixed with Twitter when YouTube was first getting started. The reason why I call it YouTube is when YouTube first got started, anybody could be a star. You didn't really need to have a talent or skill. You could just kind of wing it. You could learn as you grow. And it's undersaturated, it's underutilized. And I don't think everyone really knows how powerful it is yet. Not all celebrities are on TikTok. And so TikTok basically is looking for random people to become celebrities. That's why you see essentially random people are verified or have that blue check. But you don't need a lot of subscribers. You don't need a lot of fans or followers in order to start making money. You just need to create content and not really care. One other cool thing to grow and explode with with TikTok is people will um, people will share your post. People, I don't, I can't remember the actual term, but you can actually, you you can create a post or you can create a video where half of it is you and the other half is a video that you've taken. I forgot the name of it. If you can remember the name, shout it out, please. But I forgot. But the way that this works is, it, it's kind of like a collaboration that we'll call it a, we'll call it a collaboration. So another thing that you can do on TikTok and you can grow your, your business fast is with collaboration. So let's say you create a video again, I'm going to go back to that video that has like 10,000 views at this point is I tell them, you know, how to make $300 per day with web design. Someone will take that video and they'll either do a reaction video. They'll maybe disagree with that video, whatever, or they'll just sit and, and they'll like pretend to watch me or watch someone, but you're, you're exposing, you're getting access to a whole new group of fans or people that are interested. So people that are followers of the person that you're collaborating with now have access or you now have access to them and they can go check you out themselves. So TikTok is ripe for the picking. It doesn't take a lot of content. You, it doesn't take a lot of time. That's the thing that I like most about TikTok is I don't need to spend an hour creating content and then I don't have to worry about editing for another 20 minutes. I can go create 10 videos in, in 15, 20 minutes and then I can go, out, go on about my day. But TikTok is a very incredible opportunity if you're just getting started. Um, and you can even create multiple TikTok accounts. If you click the plus sign here, you could create one in the make money online niche. You could create one in the basket weaving niche. You could create another TikTok account on, on Ted's woodworking or woodworking. There's just a lot of opportunities. So what we could do here, and, and, the, and, the, thing like, and, and the thing with TikTok, and I, 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 and I don't want to keep comparing it to YouTube because it is its own platform, but if you approach TikTok like YouTube when it first got started, you can blow up pretty quick because that's essentially what, what we're looking at. So if we go over here to the search bar and I type in woodworking, woodworking, you'll see pieces of woodworking projects. This one has 2.7 million views and it's a minute long video. You can record yourself maybe shooting a basketball. Uh, it depends on what your niche is, but anything can work. If you can show yourself, you can show a little bit of personality, you can grow a little bit faster. And that's probably the one thing that's kind of holding me back because I don't do a lot of showing um, my, my, my quirkiness, I guess it would be. Um, but you, if you guys have questions, definitely throw them out there because I'd be happy to answer them. I keep looking over to my right because I'm, I'm, I'm excited about this opportunity. I'm excited about this opportunity for you. Um, but you just have to take action. You don't have to show your face if you don't want to. You can do it like I've been doing recently and just sh shooting or recording the your screen. Um, you can show your face if you want. It's really up to you. But you want to make sure that you add in a call to action like I do with my videos. Click the link in the description to learn more. Click the link in the bio. If I go over here, let's see what we've got. In that time, I have a new person that's liked my video. What I've had to do recently is I've had to turn off these notifications because it's been killing my, my iPhone battery or my phone battery. Um, so if we go back over here, again, 711 views. Now, some of that is people are viewing this multiple times, but 711 views is a lot of views. It's a lot of people. It's a lot of opportunity. I really wish it would let me scroll down. Uh, let's see here. If Do you guys have any questions about TikTok? Now, what I would do... There's a couple ways that you could you could approach this. You could either go into it with the plan of solving somebody's problem, 
or you could go in with a plan to do pranks. People that are making, creating, people that are making and creating pranks can make money with this as well. You could link to, let's say you have an Amazon store where you have all of your prank stuff that you're using. Let's say you were going to get into the ultimate water balloon fight. You could have a link to an Amazon store that has all of the water guns, the swimming pools, all that stuff that you've used. You just have to be a little bit of creative. Think about the different ways that you can monetize the content that you're creating and add a call to action. It's very similar to every other social media platform out there. But if you're getting on TikTok and someone asks you what TikTok is, tell them it is YouTube mixed with Twitter, mixed with YouTube when YouTube was a baby and everybody could get on it. That's basically what it is. What's your opinion in comparison TikTok versus IG versus Pinterest. So, if if I'm if I'm perfectly transparent, I've really gotten into TikTok. I would say since January, and I I do, I don't really care for Instagram. I I don't. <laughs> that sounds kind of weird, but I didn't really get. If you look, my Instagram posts consist of two things: automated posts for my blog and cross post from TikTok. I didn't really, I don't, Instagram doesn't really um, do anything for me. It doesn't interest me, but it seems like everybody's there. So I just kind of throw up some videos and really, and to be perfectly honest, I'm gonna go on a little rant. Instagram is very finicky and I think they're doing something shady and I got shadow banned. So <laughs> let me explain. I looked up last week it was about maybe a week and a half ago. I'm following 830 people. I don't know 830 people. I have no interest in following 830 people. I don't know how I follow 830 people. So I'm going through and I'm trying to unfollow these people. And all of a sudden I get banned or, or not banned. I get my, my account suspended. My account suspended because I'm unfollowing people that I don't know or I don't have any interest in. So for a week, I wasn't able to add any comments. I wasn't able to heart or I wasn't really to, able to do anything on Instagram. Okay, great. So I, I didn't really understand why. I didn't understand how I got to 830 people. I know for a fact that I have not followed 800 people. And so it seems like they're inflating their numbers. It seems like maybe they found a way to buy subscribers and and I don't know. I don't know what happened, but somehow so, somehow I was following all these people. I didn't want to do it anymore and I tried to unfollow a bunch of people. So that's my thought on Instagram. I only use Instagram because it's easy to cross post my TikTok posts and it, you know, it doesn't take it takes an extra 30 seconds. Pinterest is probably better for long-term gain. I've read places, uh, I've read pieces that said a Pinterest pin has a shelf life of about three and a half months. TikTok videos probably have a shelf life of two or three weeks, maybe a month at the most. So if I were to put them, <laughs> if I were to put them in, in order, I would prefer TikTok because TikTok is very undersaturated. The other is issue with Pinterest is I kind of feel like Pinterest is a little bit of an echo chamber as well. There's still some people on there that are genuinely interested in different products and services that you're you're pinning and repinning and sharing. But I think some of that is there's so many marketers that are on there now that it can turn it it feels like it feels like a little bit of an echo chamber. So if I were to rank them, if I were just getting started with affiliate marketing, if I was just getting started with a social media network, I would probably do TikTok first because it's easy to get on. There's a number of ways to get on and start making money. Then I would do Pinterest because Pinterest has a longer shelf life. And then I would do Instagram very, very last. I Again, I don't care for, for Instagram at all. Um, I have never cared for Instagram. And then Instagram did this thing where I got banned or suspended for the week and I could really care less could care less about it and basically with Instagram what I do is I I um I, I repurpose posts if you look at my Instagram page it's Alston Godbold it consists of TikTok videos it consists of thumbnails from thumbnails from my YouTube videos and then captions that I spent five dollars on from Fiverr that's it it doesn't have it I don't know if I've got any pictures on there of just me 
Uh, hopefully that answers your question. Yes, yeah, YouTube has a shelf life of forever. I have older videos on my channel that still get views every single day. That's, that's why YouTube is so powerful as a social media platform because mar video marketing has a very long shelf life in general and YouTube has found a way to continue to find new people to serve the same content to. So if you're thinking about that, what that means is if you've ever done a search and you see a video from seven years ago and it's still getting traffic, somehow YouTube has mastered the algorithm to continue to find new people to serve that video to. You would think eventually there would be a newer video that's more relevant, more recent, but there are videos out there that are like five, six, seven, eight years old, they're grainy, and people are still watching them. All right, so let me see here. I've got a number of questions and comments. Let me just make sure I'm all caught up. YouTube shelf life is longer. Yes, uh, like I said, it's, it's, it's almost, I would say like 10 years. Um, I believe you if they messed you up on IG. That's odd. I saw YouTube go from 44. Yeah, no, I have no idea. I, I don't really care for, I don't care for Instagram. Um, I heard about shadow ban. Yeah, so I was suspended or shadow ban. And then the other thing too with the shadow ban is it says, click this button to tell me more. I click it and then it would say, okay, thanks. So I couldn't really tell them more because it just, they don't care. <laughs> it's pretty simple. One thing with TikTok is they're very strict on type of content that you upload. It's not unheard of for people to upload content, get a lot of views, and then get taken down. If you are showing anything worse than I would say PG-13, you run the risk of getting your content take, taken down. I actually had one of my videos it was a video of me sitting in front of a computer monitor and then it was me behind me. I had one of my videos taken down and only had like 10 views. I just submitted a help desk ticket and said, hey, look, I don't know why this got taken down. Can you explain it? And about a week later, it came back alive and they apologized. So just mind, mind you that any risky behavior past PG-13 is probably going to get taken down at some point. You can get permanently, your, your account can get permanently banned, but you can just go and create a new account. So they, they're they not as strict as YouTube, I guess, when it comes to banning you, because you can always just go and create a brand new account. Uh, let's see. I turned off notifications too because it kills my productivity. Yep. Uh, I checked that one logging in YouTube. Yeah, so again, if you guys have questions, I think, I think that if you're looking for a place to start driving traffic to your offers, I would definitely consider TikTok because it is a infantile YouTube. <clears throat> it's under it's underutilized, it's undersaturated. It's not just marketers. You can get discovered by accident ac accidentally much like YouTube if someone has and and it, and it and it feels random. At times it can feel random. There are some ways that you can do to help increase the consistency. What I would do is I'd recommend niching down. So instead of just creating content on you know, how to make money online, create video on how to make money online or use the hashtag how to make money online on TikTok or how to make money online fast, something along those lines. And then just add value or, or even, you know, be yourself. As you can see, I create best of videos. I feel like, I feel, I feel like five like a best of a top five video works very well in this space because 15 seconds and then I add a call to action both in the video and in the description below. Now, if you're struggling to come up with music, one thing that I started doing was I actually will pull up my iTunes account. Yeah, I still have iTunes and I used to buy music like crazy and I just go through and I pick out a, a song that I like and I try and see if it's available on TikTok. If it's not available on TikTok, I just go to the next one and I just basically just do that. It takes me probably 20 minutes to come up with between four and six videos. Uh, let's see here. Yeah, it won't let me. I can't show you. Maybe I can show you on here. Um, it won't let me show you the, the videos that I've, I've got saved. I think I have like 11 in the bank so far and I just keep uploading and I only upload about three times a day. Now, the more you upload, the more opportunities you have to be successful. I recommend uploading as much as you want. Do at least two or three a day and check out your analytics to see when your audience is watching your videos. Uh, I like longer shelf like, yeah, no, I like, so 
my plan in general, and I don't know, I don't know if I've shared this with you before. The comment is I like longer shelf life better than short. My plan is, is this, when you're just getting started with affiliate marketing, you don't have an audience. And so you go out, you create long form content. So you're creating a blog post, you're creating a podcast, you're creating YouTube videos, but no one's going to watch them in the beginning because no one knows, likes, or trusts you. So what you should do is go out and get your customers and bring them back to your long form content. That's another reason why I like TikTok because you can go out, create videos. And before I was telling people to go to my YouTube channel to learn more. I like the reason why I like Pinterest. I like TikTok, I like Facebook groups is you can go out to where your customers are and you can pull them back to your long form content where they start to know, like, and trust you. That is my game plan with everything. I go out to wherever my customers are. This case it's on TikTok. Maybe it's on, they're on Pinterest. Maybe they're on Reddit. Maybe they're on uh, Instagram. I go out there, create content, which is repurposed content, and I try and bring them back to wherever I want them to go. If I want, it, want them to go to a blog post, if I want them to go to a YouTube video, that's my game plan for everything, is use one piece of content. For example, I have a video, uh, how to start affiliate marketing for beginners step-by-step. -step. I created that YouTube video, and then I put it on all of these social media platforms and tell people to come back to my YouTube channel to learn more. That's my game plan, that's how I approach things. I want to go out to where people are until I have this huge base audience of, of people that are looking to looking for my, my content. And if I ever get to the point, let's say I get to a point where I have 100,000 subscribers, at that point, I may not go out to all of these different platforms. I may go out to the platform that is serving me the best, where, where I have the best return on investment. Uh, that's how I, I approach it. People more interested when Yeah, it, I feel like if you can find a way to solve someone's problem, a lot of what people are doing on TikTok is they're solving someone's problem, they're solving someone's anxiety or frustration by dancing to a song or they're challenging people to dance to a song. I'm solving someone's problem by giving them different ideas on how to make money online. Like this video here, five more ways to make $100 per day online. Uh, let's say someone is on TikTok and they just lost their job. And they're looking for a way to start making some passive income. And they stumble across this video. Hey, here are some different ways that they can make $100 per day online. That's what my goal is in life is to help people, expose people to different ways to make money online that aren't just readily shared. It, sometimes it feels like all of these tips and tricks are hoarded between the top 10%. And the rest of us down here kind of have to fight over the scraps. But if I can shed some light on all of the different ways that you could start generating some passive income, maybe the next time we get into a situation like this, maybe it's not a quarantine, maybe it's something else. Um, next time we get into a situation like this, we won't have so much panic, fear, and frustration and anger. So that's my, that's kind of my purpose in life is to create, is to let people know different ways that they can make money online as I learn them. Uh, do you have any, anyone have any other questions? Um, yep. Content mix is, is good. Anyone have any additional questions? Be sure again to like, subscribe, ring the bell notification. Check me out on all of the social media platforms I'm on. My, I'm probably the easiest person to find on the internet. I believe I'm the only person in the world with the name Alston Godbold. And if you type Alston Godbold, I'm in, I think I'm on most social media platforms. Uh, I'm on TikTok, Instagram, Twitter, YouTube, Facebook, uh, maybe other places too, I, I don't remember. But definitely check out some of my other videos on this channel where I try and help you find different ways to start making money on my, online, usually with affiliate marketing. And I will close with my favorite saying, you could be anywhere in the world, but you're here with me. I appreciate that. Jay-Z said it. I just repeat it. Repeat it. Uh, I always mess up that last part. But be sure to like, subscribe, ring the bell. And if you want to know how I start generating passive income every single day, click the first link in the description and go to alstingodbull.com forward slash start. If you get started building your business today, I have $9,000 in additional bonuses that I want to give to you. So if you get started, if you click the link in the description, go to alstingodbull.com forward slash start. You click the link, you get started today. It's a $7 online business course 
I will send you an additional $9,000 in bonuses. Uh, so if you are still on the fence, you're not sure if you want to start a business, it's a $7 investment and I will send you an, an additional $9,000 in bonuses. Spending money on investing a channel. Yeah, I've spent money on an, on growing my channel because it, I look at it as an investment opportunity. Spending on ads to grow your channel. Yep, I've, I've done all of that because the, the reason why I did that is I actually felt like I had a lot to offer and I had a lot to provide people, but I felt like I wasn't getting the exposure that I wanted. So I invested a little bit up front. Uh, I think I invested maybe like 50 bucks of my own money to have the ability to provide more relevant information. One of my one of the reasons why I got started with my, my YouTube channel is because I watched all of these videos about people making surveys. If you look on any other YouTube channel about affiliate marketing or making money online, they will tell you they have at least one video on doing surveys. I am the exact opposite. I believe survey sites are the biggest waste of your time, energy, and money really for the amount of money that you can make at a survey site you could go over to mcdonald's or taco bell taco bell and make the same amount of money survey sites are the biggest waste of time if someone tells you to take a survey i would i, I would unfollow i'd unfriend i would do whatever it takes because that person doesn't have your best interest in mind they're not teaching you how to build a business they're teaching you fast ways to earn 10 cents at a time i've sat and done surveys all day because I watched a well-known YouTuber say, hey, go, go go to this survey site and you can make $50 per day doing these surveys or you can make $100 per day doing surveys while you're watching TV. You sit through those survey sites and you quickly realize the only way for you to make $100 per day is to just go through with multiple phones and you've got to be on a survey constantly and you've got to dedicate maybe 16, 20 hours to get the hundred dollars, which ultimately isn't worth it. Um, yeah. Hey, thanks for, thanks for stopping by and uh, hopefully you're, you're hearing my rant here. But um, the, the one thing that I, the, the main reason why I got started creating content about affiliate marketing is because I see all of these other YouTube channels. I see many other YouTube channels talking about, survey sites and you know make a hundred dollars per day just by watching videos doing that you're not building a real business and you're making somebody else rich so feel free if you are watching the replay if you are watching the replay be sure to comment down below um, i do a pretty good job of answering every single comment as long as they're relevant and they make sense but i definitely appreciate you guys stopping by Again, be sure to like, comment, subscribe if you haven't already done so. I'm going to hang on here for another 30 seconds to see if you guys have any additional questions. So how much money have you made with Swagbucks? I might bring up Swagbucks to see. Because one of the issues is, let's say there is a there's a survey out there. I've done Mechanical Turks. I've done all sorts of things. Let's say, let, let, let's say there's a survey out there that pays $50. Everyone is going to go after that $50 survey and that, that you'll go through the initial trial part of the survey and realize that you don't qualify for it. So you've wasted 15 minutes trying to see if you qualify for 50 bucks. Well, yes and no. I can I can build a website and make anywhere between three hundred and twenty five hundred dollars in the same amount of time as going through a survey site and making fifty dollars. I could, depending on the survey site, let's say it takes you ten hours to get to fifty dollars an hour. I can go to a a small business right now and say I'll build you a WordPress website for three hundred dollars. I'm too late to the live. Hey, no problem. Watch the replay. I think this was a pretty good one. Hey, how's it going, Indian? They need to work on marketing to job. So, yeah, in my opinion, is this going to be a replay? Yeah, no, as soon as this live is over, it'll it'll be available for the replay. Um, but in, in my opinion, survey sites aren't worth the time, energy, and effort. For the same amount of time that you do a survey, you could go cut three lawns in your neighborhood. You could start a lawn care business with a lawnmower. You know, you could build a WordPress website. You could learn graphic design. 
you could you could do like service arbitrage or retail arbitrage. There's just so many more efficient ways to make money online. And I know it from personal experience. I have probably four or five different survey sites up right now that have like 15 cents in them or $5 in them because I spent six hours trying to get to $50 per day. Okay. Uh, no, I haven't tried swag bucks for the simple fact that I no longer do surveys. Surveys aren't worth my time. And I feel in most instances, surveys aren't worth anyone's time. Now, I'm sure there's always a caveat, but for me, they're no, they're no longer worth my time. I learned a skill. I learned how to build, uh, I, I learned how to build WordPress websites. And so I can make much more with that in the same amount of time. Sure. No, I understand. So I, I go live once, once a month or once a week on Wednesdays. This live is about 50 minutes uh, so far. But I would say the first uh, first 45 minutes are, are where I really shine. If you're going back and you're looking at the replay, um, I'm, I'm probably going to wrap this up in the next four or five minutes. But feel free to watch the replay. I think I have a lot of golden nuggets. I think I have a lot of helpful information. Uh, and feel free to comment in comment down below once this goes live again, once this goes to um, the replays available. Comment down below if something's confusing or frustrating. I think I did a pretty good job of, of answering as, as many questions and solving as many problems as possible. Sure, no, that makes sense. All right, so... If there aren't, aren't any other questions, I will go ahead and sign off. I appreciate your time, energy, effort. Um, I appreciate you engaging with me in the in the chat here. Uh, be sure to like, subscribe, ring the bell notification. You guys have a great night.